So uh, I'll be talking about uh, the Metallicoin project verification process, uh, an asset-backed token example. So we have asset-backed crypto, which is uh, the next great wave of cryptocurrency will be asset-backed. And we think we've all agreed on that today. The mathematics and cryptography provide the internal verification processes that are needed. But how do we know that the assets that are being backed are what the promoters claim them to be? And that's really been one of the issues up to date. So for this purposes, Metallicoin and MPS are partnering to bring together computational verification with real world due diligence. Who are MPS? Mineral Processing Services is a West Australian owned and operated private company. The directors have and senior management are experienced industry professionals with backgrounds in senior technical and management positions in a variety of related companies and mining service industries. So as uh, Jeremy mentioned, we spent a lot of time overseas as well, Africa, South America, New Guinea. One of the directors is currently over in, uh, in Africa as, as well, optimising a process plant there. So the resources and experience of MPS, there's uh, processing plant, plant management, process selection and design, extensive due diligence reviews, maintenance management, project management, metallurgical consulting services, and laboratory audits. So just quickly through the uh, project management services, MPS has their senior personnel of significant industry experience as mentioned in, in both client and contractor roles, and provides management of feasibility projects, due diligence assessments, technical evaluations, site operations management, commissioning and decommissioning, and mine closure and rehabilitation management. So the Metallicoin vision for mining is to efficiently and transparently fund the world's mines, delivering value to both investors and producers by providing a global immutable crypto store of value based on physical metal and a profitable working environment. The aim of the Metallicoin platform is to reduce the level of difficulty in finding capital and speed up the funding process for mining projects. To this end, the project verification process for smaller projects would be a desktop verification process with the project information and level of detail entered onto the Metallicoin platform would depend on the current status of the project. So as we know, the projects can be at early exploration stage. They might be at advanced exploration. Existing resource, or even be a current or past producer with an operating mine site. The available project information would be up, uploaded by the applicant to the uh, corresponding website on the Metallicoin platform. That information would obviously include project overviews, very importantly, the granted tenements and government permits, project location maps, geological maps, geological models and reports, mine data, mine design data, scoping feasibility studies if they're available, metallurgical test work reports, flow sheets, environmental and hydrological reports, capital and operating cost estimates, and importantly, project schedules with milestones that they're anticipating to achieve. So as an example then, the first stage is the, uh, in the project initiation is uh, for the project applicant to complete the online application process. They would then specify a funding offer, the amount that they request, the metal that they are prepared to commit, and that would then roll into the uh, project assessment. Initially that could be a, a desktop verification for smaller projects or a site verification for, uh, for larger projects. And that uh, project assessment would then obviously roll into 
and a, a decision to accept or reject the project to the platform. If accepted, the project's published and would lead to a raise event. So the verification process, as mentioned, for uh, smaller projects, it would just be a desktop assessment. That might only be a couple of days. Or for larger projects, it would be a site verification. Following the verification process, it would be a decision to either accept or reject the project applic uh, application. If accepted, there will be ongoing verification that the milestones are being achieved. So we have the uh, desktop review. That would essentially be verifying the information pro provided by the project proponent. So it would be a checking of publicly available databases, maps and other sources to confirm the veracity of the information. Importantly, obviously, are the tenements that they are uh, granted that they've applied for. Or at a, for larger projects, a site review where uh, relevant e experts would visit the site and confirm the data and meet with project proponents. So the desktop review would be an independent review of government issued documents and permits geological information available, and any other appropriate documents provided by the project. Checking public databases, publicly available information and other sources. And then a review of the existing data, including drill results, historical production, any metallurgical test work and other information provided by the project to produce an overall view of the viability of the project. If the applicant requests a site review, relevant, relevant experts would visit the site, meet with the project proponents. The provided information would be checked against the provided data held at local government offices and also a, a review of any physically available information. And a summary project overview is prepared. The important part is that the, the producer or applicant pays for the expert reviews. So in preparing the project review, investors can also independently commission any appropriate available experts if they wish to have that done. The experts would then publish links to their credentials, background information, and information in their review of the project. So that information would then be available to pros prospective investors on the Metallicoin sites, so they can check the information and possibly even contact them if they wish to. Importantly, it provides a transparently where the questions and answers are visible to all investors offering total transparency and adding value to the entire community. The project reviews and expert information would be stored in the blockchain-based smart contract for the project, so therefore can't be altered and is highly secure. <coughs> Fees for the project verification would be paid directly by the project to the verification team, and that in itself provides a separation from Metallicoin and helps to ensure independence of the verification process. So once the raised funds are uh, approved, based on the milestone application for the timeline, they would be applied to mine development. That could include resource definition, preparation of mine production. It might include processing plant construction, moving into processing, and eventually, of course, the production to vault or sell and supply the uh, physical metal for use by Metallicoin. During the, uh, the fundraising event, Metallicon can provide marketing support. The, fund, the project could be promoted on site. Eventually, they'll receive the, uh, the funding if it's approved. Of course, we need to make sure that they work to the milestones 
dedicated. And finally, raise the closeout with the final reports and the project proponent specifies the outcomes, that the outcomes have been achieved. So once the project's published for approval, it's included on the Metallicoin platform, a new con project contact is created. And that's backed by the rights offered to future revenue, medals and or dividends. The mining project uses the platform to fund its operations, backs the project contract by the primary commodity that's going to be used by that project and for a specific amount of metal. It's the project contract that defines the liquidation rights in the event of non-performance of their contract. So once the funds have been issued, the development milestones are tracked against the drawdown table, which specifies the activity outcomes and the dates that they're to be achieved and how much can be drawn down at the time with verified achievement of each milestone. Those progress reports are tracked against milestones and published on the producer's profile. And of course, it's in everyone's interest that Metallicon will encourage and enable producers to provide additional information and media updates. So the miners will be required to vouch for the veracity of any media provided and published on the platform. And that, again, would be backed by external verification. In terms of project transparency, it's a critical part to building investor confidence in the projects. It's both an easy and obligatory aspect. Key, of course, being proof of ownership to the, or rights to the site, previous geological information, the uh, team profiles, key agreements, and where possible, third party documents will be used. They would, could be government issued permits, incorporation reports, resource statements were available, and there will be a minimum amount to raise before the funds can be drawn down. So the outcome from the verification process is that miners get valuable feedback and are held to account. Investors get clarity of their claims. The contracts linked to coins have veracity. And the internal trust matches the external trust. Thank you.